Hello! Right, um, I am back to do a haul video as the title very clearly explains to you. I have been to Topshop, H&M and New Look for a few little pieces. Um, I did have a little bit of a shopping ban, or well, not really a ban because you may have seen from my blogs and stuff, Instagram and stuff, that I did go shopping at the Lazy Oaf sample sale and I have made a few minor purchases. But basically I was trying to be really good with my money and not spend lots. And I've been doing that for months now, and I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> but um, I had a H&M voucher, and I had just I found some bargains in Topshop, and decided that now I finished my job. Um, I finished my training. For those of you that don't know, I finished my training as a teacher, and now I am officially an NQT, a newly qualified teacher. So I'm currently on my like six weeks holidays, summer holidays, and I decided that it was time that I treated myself to some things, which I think are well deserved after the stress of this year. So I went to Topshop and may have bought a few things. But before I start showing you those things, I just want to point out my hair. Okay, now it looks a bit funny at the top here because it's a bit poofy. That is just hiding a whole load of grease, pretty much. Um, but I wanted to just point out that my hair is kind of curly at the moment, as you can see. Now, if you go on my Instagram, you will see um, a lot of pictures of my hair curly. This is actually the sixth day of the same curls. I, this is Monday and last Tuesday I washed my hair, curled it in the morning and I've just dry shampooed it a few times in the mornings and my hair has been just stayed like this. I mean obviously these are looser curls than it started on Tuesday but I highly recommend the Lee Stafford Chopstick Styler for your curly hair. It's amazing and the curls just stay in. I've never, I've got quite thick hair or not thick, I just got a lot of hair. <laughs> I have a lot of hair and it takes ages to curl before I just gave up, like I'd spend all morning curling it and then I'd, by the time I reached the destination of where I was going it just looked like a hot mess. But now I can actually curl my hair with the Lee Stafford Styler and I've had it for a few years now but in case anyone was, one was wondering, um, I'll put a picture up of what it actually looks like when I've fully curled it and this is what it looks like six days later so I'm pretty happy. It's just got a little bit of a grease situation going on at the top there which is why I've backed my hair trying to make me look a bit more presentable. Oh and um, my shirt if I get up a little bit has boobs all over it. Long boobs, wide boobs, short boobs, small boobs, big boobs, all sorts of boobs. It's from Lazy Oaf, it's one of the ones I got in the sample sale. I wanted it for such a long time and then found it in the sample sale so I'm very happy. Right I'm now going to stop waffling about what's going on here and I'm going to show you what I bought. Um, so first of all I'm going to talk about Topshop because their sale, um, I tend to go to the Topshop sale quite late after it started because then that's when you get the bargains because they get reduced much more. Um, let me see. The first thing and main thing is this leopard print um, skirt. It's quite a thick material and I just love any kind of A-line skirt because they're so flattering. Um, it zips up at the back and that's pretty much it, all I can say. It's a skirt. Um, I tried it on in the changing rooms and it was it fit perfectly. The only thing I do have to say about this is if you're tall then I would recommend going to the tall section and getting the tall one because I have wore this since I bought it and did feel a little bit worried that people could see my bum. Um, not just walking around and me like on stairs and stuff or bending over. <laughs> Not just generally walking around because that would be a bit unsightly, wouldn't it? Um, I did kind of, when I was walking around, feel a bit self-conscious, like walking up the stairs at the tube and stuff. Kind of like holding it to make sure I um, kept my dignity. So it is a little bit shorter on me, but I've got really long legs, so pretty much anything on me looks short. So, <laughs> um, I, I don't know, maybe do a bend down test before you buy the, the skirt, basically, is essentially what I've learned from this situation. But it's a beautiful skirt. It was reduced to 15 pounds, and then when I got to the till, it was 10 pounds. Yes, yes, yes. That's what you want, isn't it? Further reduction. Like, yes, I saved five pounds, but you didn't really because you're going to spend. You're actually buying stuff, but it feels like a little win, doesn't it? A little win. I got another skirt, and this one I have seen in the sale a few times. So I think it might be quite old, but um, each time it's been in the sale, I've sort of eyed it up and thought, well. I like it but I'm not going to spend £20 and then again I'm not going to spend 15 I kind of just, um, I really like it but it's not really 
my like style. Well, that's made my lighting go really weird on my face. Um, the style um, is beautiful. Another kind of like woolly A-line type skirt, but because it's so thick, it is more of a winter skirt. Like it looks really silly because um, with if you wore anything, I don't know, like cropped or something, because it's so thick with the wool that it's um, it kind of pokes out just above my hips. I mean, it fits me, but because the fabric's thick, um, it looks a bit weird. So I'm looking forward to pairing this with a chunky knit that hangs over and this kind of poking out at the bottom. So this was reduced to £5, which I was very impressed with because I've it was 32 originally and I've been eyeing it up since it went down to like 20 to 15 and then I just gave up on it and I was like, I'm not spending 15 because it's pretty but I'm not like in love with it. But £5, I really like, very pleased when I found it. And technically, because I thought the other skirt was 15, this one was free. Okay, that one I haven't wore out yet, so I've and I didn't do a bend down test in the changing room, so I don't know if that's going to be an issue as well. But because it's a winter one, I'll have thick black tights on, I imagine, if I'm wearing it, so that's not really an issue, I don't think. <laughs> um, I then got a pair of trousers. I was really happy with this whole kind of haul because they're all little things that I've had my eye on before when I've been. Um, maybe looking online or browsing the sales when I've been too poor and thought, oh, I really think these are very pretty, but then I can't afford them. Now these are, oh, they've got quite big pockets, I didn't realise that. We've got these trousers here in the sort of leopard print. Um, we've got the paper bag style top and they're elasticated, so they're basically going to be like wearing pyjamas in the daytime. They have a waistband, like little tie, and they're elasticated at the bottom. So essentially they're posh pyjama bottoms but they are so comfy and they look more acceptable outside than pyjamas do so I'm really looking forward to wearing these they were reduced to £10 and um, they were 29 which really as a full price item isn't that bad for Topshop um, but I was really pleased with these because they fit so nicely um, and as I said they're just really comfy so I'm looking forward to like just wearing these like just a plain white t-shirt or something or clashing it with some other prints um, but yeah, they just seem like the ultimate comfy pants that I think everyone should own. I don't know why I'm saying pants, I don't know how many times I said pants then, because I'm not American. Trousers. I don't know. I think, I seem to have gotten into the habit of that recently. I don't know, because I'm, I'm, like, I have riding pants and I say pants a lot for those, but who knows, they're trousers. Right, the last three pieces that I got from Topshop were one pound each. Um, first of all, socks, because socks always get reduced in Topshop, that's one of my favourite things. Um, I got these kind of hideously beautiful snotty green glittery socks. It basically looks like a unicorn sneezed them out or something, but they are so pretty. They were one pound, as I just said, didn't need to tell you twice. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say than with those to be honest. I love a glittery sock. I've not got my first green ones before and I was very happy. The only thing is that I, I felt a little bit, well, after I opened them, I got swindled a little, like just a little bit. Because they were folded over and then the tag was round them. Basically, they're a shorter ankle sock. Normally I'm used to a bit bigger, so if I wore boots I could have them bunched up, but that's not quite right. It's almost a trainer sock, really. but And that wasn't highlighted on the tag, so. Minorly swindled, but they're a pound, so I can't really complain. Now these last two, please go and check out your local top shop to see if they have these because one pound is crazy. Like these little, wrong way, little knitted vests. They've got the lower kind of armhole. So um, you could put a pretty little bra or a little bandeau or something under there. Basically, I'm just really impressed with this with a pound. <laughs> it was 14 pounds originally. Um, and they're just gonna be really cute just with a pair of jeans or something just tucked in or into a skirt, um, I don't know, they just seem really handy. I got it in a blue colour as well. Um, it might be worth checking because um, I got those two colours, but it is in different colours. For some reason, like the black and other colours were um, five pounds still. So I don't really understand their like reasoning. I'm assuming that they just have crap tons of these colours left, but who knows? But basically I'm going to keep checking back to see if the other colours go to down to £1 as well because that would be amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was everything that I got from Topshop. Then I also went to H&M because 
I had a H&M voucher. Um, I was in there for so long, like there were so many bits from the sale and I tried tons and tons of things on. Um, loads of them fit me nicely but then I had to like really calm myself down like just because you've got a voucher doesn't mean you can just buy rubbish like I mean not rubbish like things that were actually very nice but then like maybe I'd wear once because that's the problem I find with H&M because their prices are so good you think oh this is really pretty and then you get it and maybe you wear it once and then you end up putting it on like eBay or something um, or taking it to a charity shop which is really annoying because H&M have some amazing pieces which I've got some that have lasted me years but then I have other pieces that just I've wore like once or twice because I've been crazy in a sale and thought oh I'll wear these loads and then you won't tell us. So I really like calmed myself down and I put back the really pretty shorts that I tried on um, because how often do I get to wear short shorts in London because the weather is poo most of the time. Um, so I resisted and I got some full priced items instead of all sale items. Um, there's this print in H&M at the moment that I'd seen on a tunic and I'd seen on a t-shirt and I was in love with the print but the tunic I think one of them had um, cold shoulders which I'm not always so keen on because I have bigger shoulders um, like my shape which doesn't really look like it too much here but um, I think generally my hips are narrower than my shoulders so I'm a little bit of a triangle <laughs> So if I wear something that has cold shoulders, I kind of look like um, I mean, I have got a couple of things, but just sometimes I'm just a bit like hmm, teenage boy shoulders. I would go, go as far as saying man shoulders, but more like teenage boy, you know, fortunately. And because I'm flat chested, it really doesn't help. <laughs> but anyway, this print that I found in H&M, I was like, it's so pretty, but it's just not in the kind of item that I want. And then I went to this shop. Um, in another place and I found this skirt so this is the print um, I absolutely love it it's still beautiful on the tunic and the other top that I saw so like no offense if you've got that one it just didn't suit my style I like my body shape but this skirt I was so happy to come across it because I absolutely love the print it's so pretty I like the different colors it's got in there like the almost neon kind of yellowy color um, it's an elasticated waistband and it's just got a bit of a seam down the back. I think ideally it could have done with a zip, but with a zip then it would have been more expensive, I imagine. So um, I have to do a right old little wiggle to get this up. Um, it's a size extra small, which I imagine in H&M is like a six to eight or something. Um, but if I tried the small one, I could get it on really easily, but then it didn't quite sit right on my hips. It just like, just above my hips, it kind of like gaped a little bit. So I got the smaller one and I just have a bit of a, bit of a wiggle to get my bum through it and then it's fine, it fits me nicely. <laughs> so that's what I mean when I say like it could do with a bit of a zip really. Um, it's quite a thick material for this type of skirt from H&M, it's like almost, I don't know what you call that, it's not helpful is it? It's kind of a little a rough material, it's quite thick compared to usual, um, like compared to their usual like little bodycon or small skirts. And this one was... Seven ninety nine normal price, so that's pretty amazing because I would have paid more than that if it was I don't know. I think I think you kind of expect those kind of prices from H and M, but if I saw that in Topshop or something like that, I might have ended up spending more than seven ninety nine on it. So pretty pleased with that one. I'm looking forward to wearing that one in the summer, and I say summer, but I don't know if we're gonna have any more sun really. <laughs> um, the next one I got, um, I tried on quite a few striped like tops um, in H&M and um, quite a few of them um, they were kind of wide at the top for some reason I don't know why so but then I found um, an elasticated one or stretchy one and it fit me really nicely so it's kind of scoop neck is a little bit bigger than the average t-shirt so it kind of shows off your collarbones a little bit um, which looks quite nice if you've got like a bigger necklace or I'm not probably not a huge necklace but like or maybe even something kind of dainty just to kind of have that feature there as well rather than it just going right up to your neck so um, I quite liked that it was just a little bit of a scoop neck um, it's very stretchy um, and it just fits really nicely so it's going to be good under maybe like a little strappy dress or um, just with my jeans so I'm pretty pleased with that one I'm really annoyed though because the first I've already worn this and my cat snuggled me and then his claws pulled out because it's knitted he's pulled out some of the thread and stuff already which is really annoying 
it's one of the main issues I think about having a cat apart from having to clean its litter tray is that they claw your things like I go through tights like there is no tomorrow as soon as I buy a new pair of tights Albus comes along and he's like are these new not anymore right those two what did I say that almost 7 99 as well um so I got those two um so that came to about 16 pounds and I had a 20 pound voucher so I thought well I've got four pounds left so I'm gonna go and have a little look at the sale again so I went back to the sale and I got this little skirt which I didn't really need and I guess might be one of those items that I've just spoken about that you buy and might not wear that often but it's a black skirt basically and it's got the zip down the front and although I have got a black skirt already I thought this one's quite handy um, because really how many like I don't know I've just a black skirt is just really handy to have and this one's almost like one of the fake kind of suede fabric and then you've got the zip that goes all the way down the front to add that little detail and I prefer silver on zips and buttons and things like that because it matches my jewellery because I don't really wear gold um, so I do like it when I've got something like this because then it will um, match any of the other bits of metal I may have anywhere else on my outfit um, and that was reduced to four pounds so I was really pleased with that one and it fit in very nicely with my voucher so it felt like I spent no money <laughs> um, so yeah I think I went a little bit crazy with the skirt situation this time like I don't have enough skirts already but I do love a good skirt especially in a print because then I can clash it with something else um, those are the main bits of clothes I've got I did go to um, I didn't spend loads in there I went to New Look and I love socks so much like it's crazy my sock drawer is just so full I think I need two drawers of socks because I kind of have like my day to day socks and then I have all my printed socks which I don't wear day to day um, unless they're to be out like if you see what I mean like if I'm wearing boots or something and you can't see them then I have my special socks that I won't wear under my boots in case I get a hole in them or something or if I'm out walking all day I won't wear my like special pretty socks because I don't want to ruin them and now I have a new pair of them I have these really cute little dinosaur socks from um, New Look and they were reduced to one pound. I think they'll look really cute with my um, like juju jellies, like my sandals, like poking through the little kind of slots in there. So pretty pleased with those ones. In New Look I got two more pairs of socks and these are a little bit premature. Some of you might like hate me for bringing this up but Christmas is gonna be soon. Okay, that was really creepy. Um, I love Christmas so, so, so much. And I love socks, so I got Christmas socks. Um, I always buy Christmas socks when it gets to Christmas. And I thought, well, why not get them when they're a pound and just save them in my sock drawer, my special sock drawer. <laughs> um, and then just save them because um, there's no point in me spending, what is it, like two pound or three pound on one pair of socks when I can just get them now for a pound. So I got these ones that have Rudolph on, they're really cute, you can't really see them if I do that. And then I got um, these ones with the little Christmas tree and they were 50p. So if you are crazy like me and you love Christmas and you love socks, then go to your new look and see if they have any more. They have other ones that have like penguins and things like that, but I don't really find penguins that Christmassy because apart from it being cold, I don't really know what penguins have to do with Christmas. Yeah. I'm not sure where that came from. Are there penguins like near where Santa lives? That might be it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed some of my new purchases and let me know if you've bought any bargains lately and let me know if these go down in another colour to one pound, please. Okay, if you spot them anyway, because I'd quite like the black one. Thank you again for watching. Mwah! Come and say hello. Say hello to the camera.